Hey guys, David at Telford Smith Engineering. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough on our little GSL granulator series. Uh, it comes in the models GSL 180, 180, 180, 300. So the 180 means it's got 180 millimetre diameter rotor, and then the next number is the length of the rotor. So this machine has a 300 millimetre long rotor. Uh, the machine from the top comes with what we call our T-hopper and this gives us a nice long safe route into the blade so that it meets all the Australian standards for, for reach. Uh, it's a unique little machine, it's gearbox driven so it's low speed uh, and high torque so that means low dust, low noise, low vibration. So they're a very good little unit and very robust and high torque because of that gearbox. Um, you have your basic controls here which are fully Australian compliant with your safety reset button and your e-stop and your on and off button and of course your isolator on the unit. I'll give you a quick look in the unit, I've got it pre-prepared and open for you. So we undo this, and unwind this, this is your time delay on your dual contact limit switch. So if you come over and have a look in here, you'll be able to see the rotor design. Uh, it's, a, it's a solid, it's a segmented rotor, which is a solid rotor made up of a whole lot of small cutting blades. Those cutting blades are held in with one bolt, which makes it very easy to change those blades without setting them with feeler gauges and the complexities of some of the high speed machines. So, very great for sc schools, universities, small beside the press injection molding places, sprues, runners, and small parts of components. Uh, very easy to get into the clean for this reason. Also to get into the suction box. Again, we have another time delay bolt here we pull out. And it just slides out like that. It also has a dual contact safety switch on the rear of it to make sure you can't operate the machine without a, a hopper in there. Uh, following that, we can take it the screen. So this is the screen cradle comes out like so. And then the screen needs a little bit of a wiggle. It also comes out like this for cleaning and maintenance or for changing to a different size screen for a different application. Uh, as you can see, the unit is mobile and it's on wheels, so it can be very easily moved around. The back two wheels are lockable to stop it from moving while it's in use. Uh, the other feature is it has a nice large feed opening which is good for feeding with robots uh, for your pick and place for dropping your, your sprues and runners in. Thank you.